Hi, welcome to Laura La Butte. If you're new, if you're not new, welcome back to the channel. Either way, thanks so much for watching. So here is the Born to Run palette. It's the newest one from Urban Decay and I'm going to review this. I'll just do some swatches and I'll do, uh, just say what my thoughts are about this palette. And then I will do two looks. I'll do one look on each eye just to use as much of the palette as possible. If you have any questions, suggestions, or anything you want to know about the palette or anything like that, just leave them in the comments and I will gladly answer any questions. Okay, so I'll just get right to it. This is the box that the palette came in. It just says Urban Decay, well, it says UD and it says Born to Run right there. It's got the ingredients on each side there and there and the back just has all the shades that are in the palette and some stuff, what is this? Oh, I didn't even see this. It says, um, it just says Born to Run Eyeshadow Palette for the Adventurer, the Road Warrior, or the Weekend Escapist, no matter where you're going or what you're getting up to. Born to Run is the only, uh, only in caps, only palette you need to pack and never look back. <laughs> From matte and neutral for meetings in San Francisco to jeweled and metallic must have for that weekend getaway in South Beach. Okay. For completely smoked out at Saturday night dinner with Bay. Okay, so they're using like <laughs> um, internet, like millennial language um, slang. We've got you covered with options for endless looks with 21 curated shades, a huge mirror and a collage of our own personal travel photos. We created Born to Run to inspire you. So it, this palette is to inspire us um, to take a rain check on reality now grab this palette and run so i guess i'll be off now i'm just gonna grab <laughs> this palette and run yeah so that's the cover of the palette it's just um a collage of pictures like their traveler pictures uh some tourist destinations i think that's like santorini in greece i think that's new york at nighttime or like sunrise i'm not sure that's paris palm trees probably la i'm thinking um golden gates bridge and the back has the same thing. Big Ben and some really cool beaches and and the steering wheel of a car, I think. Um, so like road trip, I'm guessing. Yeah, so uh, let's just open it up. This is what the palette looks like. It's got a big mirror, which is expected with Urban Decay. I think they always provide um, a nice mirror with the palettes. So, but initially I thought this was kind of steady like um, I thought it was upright like this but you have to hold it up or else it just you know it falls back like this um, whether or not that's a problem is up to you I really don't mind that I don't mind holding it like this yeah so it just says UD born to run on the corner there and I'll just fold it like this and these are the stunning shades of the palette and I'm just in love. I'm so in love with this palette. Oh my gosh, so I just dropped the palette literally and I've kind of dug my nail into that purple shade. Yeah, so that's the palette. It's got 21 shades and it's uh, the price is £39.50 which is standard for Urban Decay I think. All their naked palettes are £39.50. Um, but the palettes, the naked palettes have about 12, 12 shades, I think, and this has 21. So I think that this is a bargain, even though this has um, each shadow is 0 0.8 grams and the naked palette, each shadow is 1.3 grams. So, you know, it's kind of different. This has less per shadow, but if you add everything up and, you know, all the grams and everything, this works out still to be a bargain, I think. And I think I personally think this palette could have easily been like 45 pounds or even 50, but it's 39.50 and I'm, I'm quite happy with the price. So um, what else is there? It's so hot. Um, that's why I've done this review kind of late because I knew it would be just boiling. The lights just make it so hot. And it is summertime. So this palette is not available in store yet. I think it will be available on 2nd of August or I think end of July but you can get it on the website, um, Urban Decay website. Yeah, so it's got like eight or nine mattes. Some of the mattes are not quite matte, but they're not quite shimmers. So they're kind of in the middle. And then you've got your shimmer shimmers and <laughs> Sim Simmer, who got the key? Okay, focus. <laughs> yeah, I'll do the swatches and I'll just go name by name um, of each shadow. And I'll just put some Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion on my arm here. So I'll start with Breakaway, which is a warm ivory shimmer. And this one I think you could use as a 
brow bone highlight. So next is Stranded, which is a pearl rose gold with tonal micro shimmer. I'm just reading the um, description off the website. So that's Stranded. It reminds me of, I think it's called Primavera from ABH Modern Renaissance, but this one's more goldy than that one. Uh, so next is Blaze, which is a light metallic peach with pink shift. So I'll just swatch Blaze. So that is Blaze. Next is Weekender, which is a light neutral beige matte shade. There we go. So I like to use Weekender to set my concealer when I, you know, when I prep my lid for eyeshadow. So I just use that to set my concealer. I've done that today as well. So I've just, um, I've just kind of set my concealer with this matte beige called Weekender. So Still Shot is a bright peach. It kind of looks coral though, if you ask me, but it's a bright peach, it says. So that one I have to swatch twice because it's not very, it's not very pigmented and I noticed that as well when I was using the shadow a few days ago so it's not, it doesn't really show up. So that's not very pigmented but I think it has to do with the, um, the kind of colour it is. So it's kind of like a pastel so those are kind of hard to, they don't just show up, they're not very very pigmented. Next is Riff which is a brown nude matte with floating micro sparkle it says on the website so this is kind of a, a chocolate brown so that is riff so lastly on the top row here is good as gone which is a deep brown with iridescent micro shimmer so it has little like micro uh, shimmers so it's not really a shimmer shade and it's not really a matte so it's not really a matte matte it's got some shimmer but it's not really a shimmer shade That is very pigmented, I just didn't drag it properly, so I'll just take it down again like this. So that is good as gone. I don't know if you can see the um, micro particles. You can barely see them even on the lid, so I think they're more visible at night time. Hellride is a deep fuchsia matte shade. So this one is very pigmented and it's one of my favorite mattes from this palette. So next is Baja, which is a burnt orange matte, um, that vivid, very bright matte orange, because nowadays, if a palette doesn't have a bright orange matte, is it even a palette? So uh, they seem to all have a bright orange. I'll just swatch this one. Next is Accelerate, which is a reddish copper metallic. So. I'll just swatch, accelerate. Okay, and next is Guilt Trip, which is a, a smoky purple shimmer. So that is Guilt Trip. Ignite is a rose gold metallic. There it is, so pretty. So next is Smog, which is not a new shade. I remember this from the Naked palette and I think the Reloaded palette has Smog in it as well. So at this point I have enough Smog to last me a lifetime. So I'll just still swatch it. Yeah, so that's a deep coppery bronze shimmer. So one of my favorite shades is Wonderlust. It's a Forest green with gold micro shimmer. So there is Wonderlust. But Wild Heart is a bright fuchsia. That is Wild Heart. Uh, well, Punk is a red brown matte, so it's quite warm. This palette has two browns, Punk and Good As Gone, but Good As Gone is quite 
uh, cool. I think it's cool toned. Um, this one is warm, so I'll just swatch this. And Punk is completely matte, so it doesn't have the uh, little shimmers that Good As Gone has. So this is punk it's very very deep very nice like rich brown so i like to put that in the uh, crease this double life is a metallic rust there it is double life gorgeous so jet is black with deep shimmering purple shift So this is a very interesting color, I think. It's called Drift. It's a um, charcoal satin with tonal micro sparkle. I think this is a dual chrome as well because I think it kind of changes um, shades depending on the light swatch. Yeah, so sometimes it looks blue, other times it looks kind of purple or gray. Next is radio which is a deep emerald satin so lastly we've got big sky which is it's a frosted green shimmer with iridescent micro sparkle so that's big sky and this is my favorite shade from this whole palette it is just gorgeous these are the colours swatched on my arm, very very beautiful, um, it's very very hot you guys so I'm trying not to show you my my sweat patch <laughs> but yeah, um, so gorgeous. I'll do two looks now, uh, just a different look on each eye just so you can see what the shadows look like on the lid and how they apply. I'll start with my right eye, I'll use Baja here. Uh, this orange matte orange shade I'll just go with this above the crease here so I really like this orange shade it's just the standard orange that you find in almost any palette nowadays so I love this one so for in the crease I'll take Hell Ride, which is that matte fuchsia there, it's a uh, deep fuchsia. I don't get much kick up when I'm using this palette, I think that's why I've used it so many times but it's still kind of clean. I'm just going to shape that in the crease. I'm just going to blend that in. So I'll just add some Pro Long Wear Concealer in NC42 to my lid just to intensify the um, lid colours. I really like the way orange and uh, pink look together so that's why I chose these colours. So for the lid I'll start in the corner with Wild Heart. This. So I did get a bit of fallout with Wild Heart, so you know I just uh, kind of dusted it off. Um, I'll take Guilt Trip next. And again I've got a bit of fallout, so let's just say that this palette does give a bit of fallout but not too much so so just for there I'll take radio that nice emerald like satin shade I just put that there So that's all for the lid I think so I'll take drift kind of very strange color so I'll take this for underneath here oh 
I'll just blend that out. I'll just do one more step. I'll take the black jet. I'll take that and I'll just put that on the outside of the eye, just there. Yeah, so I just put some black on the outside, just in a V shape, just to make things a bit more defined. I'll come back and highlight my inner eye corner, but I just wanna do this eye first. I'll start with Riff. And I'll just put that there above the crease. So for this eye, I'll just take the shadows out like that just to make it a bit different from the right. This is one of my favorite colors to use as a transition, this riff, just cause it's a nice brown. But then I'll go in with Good As Gone, which is that cool toned brown. taking a smaller brush to go in the crease so I'll just go in with some concealer again not really doing a cut crease just kind of roughly going on the lid just to make the colors more intense So for this side, I'll start with Big Sky and I'll take this just on the inner part of the lid. I just have to use this color. It's so beautiful. I just really love it. So for the middle here, I'll use Wonderlust, which is that gorgeous green color. You can use these um, shadows wet or dry. It's really like up to you, but um, I'll just go in with Wonderlust. Definitely I would um, do my eyeshadow first when I use this palette because, oh my gosh, the fallout is real. And then for the rest of the way here, I'll use uh, Double Life, which is this. I'm kind of just tapping that in. So I don't want the line here, so I'll just smudge it out like this. So I'll take Ignite. use that for the bottom here then I'll take accelerate I'll take a bit of <laughs> good as gone and the so battery died and while it was dead I kind of just put some concealer there just to clean it up um, I mean this is I, I kind of like it this but I think it's a bit outrageous as well. So, so I'll just highlight my inner eye corner with, where is the palette? Where's the bloody palette? So I'll take Stranded and I will highlight the inner corners of my eyes. So I'll just put on some eyelashes. So I've just put some eyelashes on and on the lips is Whirl by MAC with the chestnut lip liner. So last words about the palette, um, this peach shade still shot, it's um, not very pigmented so that's the only one that I think needs a bit of working in and the rest of them are fine. You do get fallout, I don't know how I forgot to mention that you get fallout because every time that I've used this palette I've done my eyeshadow first except today so the rest of the shadows work fine I don't find any patchiness with the matte shades or the shimmer shades with Urban Decay you know the shimmers some of their shimmers are not so shimmery so 
sometimes I do put them in the crease even though even though it's like you know you're not supposed to put I know it's makeup you can do anything you want really but um, I mean typically you wouldn't put a shimmer in the crease or above the crease but as long as it looks good I've seen people do that before so I like to do that with Urban Decay eyeshadows. I think it's such a good combination of colors. I think it's it's definitely a go away with palettes. It's got some weight to it, but it's not heavy. I actually like that it's a bit, you know, it's not very, it's not light. It's It's got just a bit of weight to it. Even the price point is very good. And it's so different from all the palettes that are coming out now. It's so versatile. You know, the last palette that I saw that I was this excited about was the, um, you know, ABH Modern Renaissance. You can do so many looks with it. Um, I think nowadays it's very easy to just keep buying the same palette over and over again because a bit, the companies just basically copy each other, which happens, I think, in business. It's natural because you want to you want your stuff to sell so you kind of go and imitate whatever is selling like hot cakes yeah i really love this and it's different for urban decay so i think they did such a great job and yeah thank you so much for watching like comment subscribe leave in the comments if you have any questions any suggestions or anything you want to ask yeah i will film a haul maybe tomorrow and that's the next video this was meant to be in the haul but i couldn't like wait to haul this i used it immediately thank you to everyone who's newly subscribed um and thank you to everyone who's been subscribed since you know since whenever 